what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're actually going to talk about scream 6 only in this video today just talking strictly about scream 6 just to touch on a interview and something related to jenna ortega's word choice and what i see a lot of people thinking this means as far as like the fate of terror because i've seen this interview tossed around on reddit on twitter on facebook just many people noticing that she is utilizing past tense to refer to tara so they think that's her giving away the fate unintentionally similar to how mikey madison almost slipped up and said that amber is a killer during one of her press junkets related to uh scream six earlier this year or late last year before scream six even released I think Sonya was on the panel with her too but this is a press junket that Jenna has going on right now for the upcoming Wednesday show which I'll have a review for later on this week on the channel but yes she's referring to Tara every time she's asked about Scream 6 it seems she's referring to Tara in a past tense like she keeps saying was or not that not that she is but like always talking to tara as if she's no longer with us she's gone she's history so does that mean that tara will die in scream six maybe or it could just be someone simply you know slipping up on their words that's really all it could be but i will just say this if tara is the one who dies in scream six I think that maybe from a narrative perspective it could work but I think most people without seeing the movie would argue that if you're going to kill one of the carpenters it would be Sam and that's not to say that mostly it's tied to people's opinion on Melissa Barrera as an actress I think that when it comes to Tara for me there's a lot more to tell there if she loses a sister versus if Sam loses a sister. I just think that you could tell a much more compelling narrative going forward with Tara coping over the loss of Sam than Sam coping over the loss of Tara. That's just how I see it. Only because Tara was someone who grew up in a house without her sister for many years. And during those years where Sam had left the house, we know that it seems like during a lot of their exchanges in Screen 5, Tara definitely longed for a big sister. So then to finally have that here with you and she's taken from you by a ghost face attack, trying, let's say, even to protect you in this instance, your, your sister that you wanted so badly during those years where you were living with an alcoholic mother, your, your father was gone. She's gone completely now too. your sister that you wanted for all those years. Now you can't even have her during your later years as a teen. She won't be here for your early adulthood. She won't be here when you need her during other rough times in life that are surely to come as you go into your young adulthood. I just think there's a lot more compelling and sympathetic narrative you could portray with her, given that she's the younger of the two, than if you kill Tara and use Tara as a coping mechanism or go off a narrative of how Sam could cope over the loss of Tara in Scream 7 and so on and so forth. I think it would work better in, in the opposite order. If Sam were to die, you could tell a much richer story with Tara. Given how she already kind of felt betrayed by Sam after learning exactly why Sam left town in Scream 5, you saw how furious she got. And it seems like, yes, definitely during those years as a teen when she was having to deal with their alcoholic mother, she wished Sam was there. Sam was just never around. So now she finally has that and it's ripped away from her by Ghostface. I just think there's a lot more sympathetic narrative you could portray there if you were to do that. Going off of who out of the Carpenter sisters would be a much, com much better compelling choice to kill, I would say it would be Sam. Sam for Tara not the other way around i just think that sam as an individual she's so sam just comes off more i would say knuckleheaded in a way as if she's not someone who would be easily easily shaken over the loss of tara as much as tara would be shaken over the loss of sam given everything that's that tara had to witness firsthand after sam left Sam didn't have to witness any of that. We know that Sam has had her struggles. She's had, she has a criminal record, presumably, and some other stuff related to the law that Judy, Ho Judy Hicks alluded to. But outside of that, it seems like she really wasn't at home much after, after her mother really started hitting the bottle because she had left. She went to go start her own life. Tara was going through her own stuff at home with their mother. And Tara didn't have anyone to confide in because her sister had left her. Father's gone. It just seems like if you were to kill either one of them, you would be better off doing it with Tara. If you guys think 
not killing off Terra, but killing off Sam for Terra. If you think that Terra should die, what ways do you think that would benefit anything related to Sam? I feel like a lot of people already don't find Sam as compelling as Terra. Is I would say it's not even down to basically how, how she's written. I would say it comes down to... I'm going to say the performances. I think it basically comes down to the material that is presented for Tara over Sam. I just think that Tara, given her youth, she pre she presents a more sympathetic and intriguing narrative to follow if she were to lose her sister than vice versa. But just to also touch on this tweet that viewer Anon put out a couple of uh, minutes ago or hours ago, actually a day ago by the time you probably see this video he said that people have asked for scream scream 6 info and it's gone dark he said here's a little tease spoiler alert so i guess spoiler alert if you don't want anything there's a scene with sam and terry in the convenience store on halloween a ghost face walks in and they think it's just someone in a costume unfortunately for others in the store it's not just someone having fun on halloween shenanigans ensue so is this going to be a sequence where Ghostface walks into a convenience store. I'm presuming this is that bodega we've seen them in several times while filming. Is this going to be a sequence where Ghostface walks in, people shrug it off, Sam and Terry included, mistakenly so, and Ghostface starts to go on a full-fledged, all-out onslaught massacre in this bodega, killing thousands, not thousands, <laughs> that's dramatic, killing several people that are present in this bodega as Sam and Tara probably run away or try to get out of the store. Or maybe let's say you throw in double ghost face killers there in this sequence. If this is what happens during that sequence when viewer Don is saying shenanigans ensue, that'll probably be one of the most iconic things and memorable things you've ever seen in a screen movie. If Ghostface goes off into a bodega and takes out several different people like that and it's set on Halloween, so I would think it makes sense for them to shrug it off, but I have seen people say it doesn't really make sense because of the PTSD they probably should have. I think this could work and it could be a very intriguing, suspenseful scene that leads to a even more phenomenal chase sequence after Ghostface slashes up a few people in that bodega and proceeds to pursue Sam and Tara maybe down a New York alleyway or some other type of crowded setting where they chase Sam and Tara out of the bodega but if that's what this is referring to in this tweet and if it actually goes on in the film that sounds like it'll be very fun sounds like it'll very it'll be a very fun sequence full of suspense and something to just be another iconic thing that the screen franchise has done let me know what you think about all this down in the comment section below if you have any questions make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and damage video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video